What's your astrological sign? Yeah, that's weird, because look at that. Astrology is my first question on here. Oh, why? Because. <laughs> I thought it was interesting. <laughs> what is yours? I was going to ask. Oh, what mine is? No, I was going to ask if you, oh, I'll wait until the camera starts. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Sign, but I'm a Virgo. Yeah. Virgo. You're a Virgo. Yes. I haven't had that many Virgos in my life until recently. Um, one man has been w working on my house, and then the other man is uh, this actor I'm working with on the show called Moonlight. But until then, I hadn't had any Virgos in my life, so I didn't know. But I like them. Well, they're crazy with collecting stuff. That seems to be a major trait with them. Yeah, okay, I can see that, actually. Yes, well, Which is yes. a little annoying for people. Yeah. Because they get like, oh, I want one shirt. I'll go buy all ten shirts. But then, but then Aries are like that, too. Yeah, but they're a little bit more stubborn. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Not Interesting. So, not so <laughs> giving as a Virgo. Would be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, you're a Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> so, but they're, you know, they're. Uh, what is it? They're more Fiery. understanding, but they get oh. more angry and don't show it. Passive aggressive. Yes. Th that passive. that happens with Earth signs a little bit more. I think mm. Earth si Earth signs because um, fire signs can't help but show it because they're fiery. Um, maybe air signs can be a little passive aggressive too because we're in our head, but water signs show it because they get hurt. You know. Well, what sign are you? Libra. Libra. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mom's a Libra. Yeah, and my rising is Sagittarius. My moon's Scorpio. So you just had your birthday. October third, twenty nine. Yeah. Twenty nine. What? I'm sorry. What was it? October third, and I'm twenty nine. Oh, twenty nine. Okay. I shouldn't well, say that. But. Well, the question I was going to ask about astrology was: Do you ever look to astrology to decide who, what projects you're going to work on, and who you're going to be working with specifically as an actor, or try to get a feel for them before you go on with a project? I've never, never in relation to a project I'm going to do, but always whenever I'm about to work with actors, I'm always curious about their um, sign, and occasionally I'll even go so far as to look up their chart. Was there one particular sign you wouldn't even? with as far as getting into that kind of a, like working relationship? No. I mean, I think anybody that's into astrology a lot, like you definitely, you have to know that you can't judge by just a sign. I mean, the whole chart matters and you can't really judge anyways because all it's there for is to really sort of d learn how to deal with people better and understand people better. So if you're going to be so stubborn as to like cut some people out because of their sign or their chart, then it seems weird that you're even involved in astrology anyways because you're not utilizing the tool in the right way. Yeah. Well, the one question I've been asking is that if <clears throat> you had somebody close to you who committed suicide, would you be better knowing that this is where they went or would you be feel worse knowing this is where they went with this afterlife that's portrayed in the film? Well, I'd like to think that I was, um, um, like, healthy enough to know that that wasn't real. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so I so I would know that that that, I, that, that wasn't even an option because it's just a movie. But I think it makes me happy to know that if there are people out there that are really shaken up over someone committing suicide that was close to them, that if this movie made them feel better, because I think it would make them feel better, it make them feel better to know that probably that they were just simply having meals and having a real kind of life, but it was somewhere else. So at least they have people they can be friends with. I'm just talking about if someone was really far gone. Yeah. But I would never take it seriously yeah. if I had some. I mean, I'd like to think that. <laughs> well, I know you, you're into a lot of <coughs> writings and stuff. Did you read the books that uh, I have his name here, Edgar Carrot? I didn't I'm read sure that. If I'm saying his name right. Did you ever look into any of his work? I didn't. I, you know what? I didn't. And uh, this always happens. A director will tell me, oh, don't, go ahead and don't read something. It always happens with me for some reason. And then when, I cu and then when we're done shooting, like I'm already over it. Like, I'm not even curious. You're curious more before, but then you're told that you don't have to read you don't it. Or have you, to do it. Or, the, or to not. Because some people like it when someone ha doesn't have a preconceived, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They're not doing something. Um, they're treating the material as though it's fresh. But you get shot, like, out, like, on the road to, like, Barstow and... Lancaster. Lancaster. Now, what was that experience like shooting out in that area, like where it's desert? I mean, did you start to feel like you were in purgatory mm -hmm. a little bit? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we did. It was it was really it was summer and it was really hot, and um, it was really hot. It was just hot, hot, hot. That's all I'm gonna say. It was just hot, and we were wearing I was wearing sweatshirts and jeans that were sticking to me like tights. But did they make you listen to this Go Go Bernello CD over and over again? Yeah, Gorn gave us the CD with a couple songs that he really liked, and so we, I listen. I mean, I don't know if the boys did, but I think they did. We listened to it a lot on our own time. Well, have you since become a fan of theirs? I am a fan, yeah. I like them. I, I haven't seen them live, and I don't own an album, but 
was it say the crazy live show, I guess. Yeah, I hear they're really... Really theatrical. Oh, I love that. That sounds great. Sounds pretty cool to me, too. Uh -huh. I've never seen it either, so... Um, it's, it's, I was going to say, what do you hope this offers somebody who might be a little bit depressed, who sees this? I mean, what kind of feelings do you hope this offers them? Like a little bit of hope or something? Yeah, it? it's, yeah, it's sweet. It's, it's like, it's, it's a sweet love story that I think makes you believe in sweet love. And also, I, you, that you, that you find things in, in places when you're not looking for them. That's something that's like hope in that. Because you always hear that when you're, I always heard that when I was little, like, oh, sometimes you find things when you're not looking for them. And it was one of those sayings that you just sort of toss away because you hear like those, those cliche sayings that are always, when you think about them, like as you get older, they're always all so true and, and they mean so much, but they didn't mean anything when you were little. Mm -hmm. And that saying that you always find something when you're not looking for it or when you think you're looking for something else or when you think you need something else. That's a big thing in the movie, you know. He thinks he needs this. If he finds his ex-girlfriend, everything's going to be great. Now, what's your personal take on the ending? Do you think it was all a dream, or are you into the giving into the fantasy that this actually happened to them? I don't have. I honestly, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm totally 100% comfortable with being up in the air about it. I, I don't. I've never answered that for myself, and I'm fine with it. I don't know why. I just am. Okay. Yeah. Like maybe 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 I lean a little bit more towards dream, because mm -hmm. I don't know. There's something great about it, being a dream.